Well, today we're going to talk about one of the great instruments of science, the Voyager spacecraft. If you were to list the handful of spacecraft that has changed our world view, changed our understanding of the universe and the solar system, the Voyager spacecraft would be perhaps number one. Some people don't remember it, but it scored a grand slam through the solar system. Most space probes are lucky to go by one planet. The Voyager spacecraft went by Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and they're still chugging away. That's right, they're still beaming messages from deep, deep, deep space. They're just about to leave the heliosphere that demarcates the end of the solar wind of the solar system. And if you go to the internet and type in Voyager, you'll see some of the gorgeous photographs. The first photographs taken a close up of the rings of Saturn, the great blue spot of Neptune, the close-ups, motion picture close-ups of the red spot of Jupiter. And the moons, my God, the moons. We used to think that the gas giants were interesting and the moons were boring. Now we realize it's the opposite. About a hundred moons, a hundred moons orbiting the various gas giants, much more interesting than the planets themselves. Who would have thought? Europa, a moon of Jupiter, has a liquid ocean on it beneath its ice cover, and it may have life. That's right. Forget Mars. Life in the solar system may be found on Europa, underneath the ice cover, a liquid ocean, heated up by tidal forces coming from Jupiter. If you want to see volcanic activity, look at Io, another moon of Jupiter. If you want to look at another moon that has an atmosphere, well, look at Titan, a moon of Saturn. All these splendorous discoveries were made by the Voyager spacecraft. However, to be fair, we should also point out there's a controversy. A controversy about the Voyager spacecraft because it had a plaque on board, a plaque that was designed by Carl Sagan and others. In the plaque, it talked about life on Earth. It had a drawing of a man and a woman, a drawing of the Voyager spacecraft, and a map. A map triangulating the position of our solar system with regards to the stars in the heavens. In other words, a map that said, here we are. We are here. This is where the Voyager spacecraft came from. Well, what do you think the aliens are going to do if they pick up the Voyager spacecraft? We saw that in the movie Star Trek I. If you saw the very first Star Trek movie, in that movie, the aliens from outer space, they pick up Voyager, and they see the invitation, come, come and get us. And so that's what the aliens do. They soup up the Voyager spacecraft, which is now called V'ger, send it back to the Earth with superpowers, almost destroying the Earth in the process. So some people think it's a bad idea to have the plaque on the Voyager spacecraft because it advertises our existence to aliens, and who knows what the alien intentions are. Personally, I don't think that alien life in outer space is going to be hostile. They will have had thousands of years to iron out their problems. They would be thousands to millions of years more advanced than us if they could reach us from stars that are many, many light years away. They're very advanced, and they've had millennia to work out sectarian, fundamentalist, racial hatreds that have characterized their rise from the swamp. And that's why I think they're going to be benevolent. However... There's always a chance that they're not going to be benevolent. After all, look what happened to the great Aztec Empire when Montezuma met Cortez. Well, Montezuma, the leader of the Aztecs, made one of the greatest blunders in the history of civilization. Montezuma thought that Cortez, a conquistador from Spain, was a god, a god riding on a horse. And the Aztecs had never seen a horse before. In fact, the Native Americans had never seen a horse before. The horse you see, the horses you see in these cowboy Indian movies were imported by the Spaniards. There were no horses in the New World. So, of course, the Aztecs thought that Cortez must be a god of some sort. Big mistake. 
big mistake. Within a few months, the entire Aztec civilization had crumbled. Montezuma was imprisoned and later killed. Gold was plundered from the Aztecs. And the whole Aztec civilization, which rose from the jungle over thousands of years, was destroyed, absolutely destroyed. Well, some people think that if we meet aliens from outer space, it's going to be like David versus Goliath. We'll be David, and Goliath will be the aliens. Well, I don't know. Some people think it would be more like Goliath versus Bambi. If they're going to be that advanced, we're going to be more like Bambi compared to them. Well, no need to fear because of the fact that I personally believe that there are a lot of planets out there to be harvested without pesky natives like us. If you're an alien looking for natural resources, you're not going to bother with the Earth because there are a lot of uninhabited planets out there. So don't worry. In other words, even if the aliens pick up the plaque on the Voyager, they may simply say, huh, not interesting.